The Rise of John Ember. As Archmage, John's story began in a small, impoverished village where life was a daily struggle for survival. He lived with his younger brother, Sam, his little sister, Lily, and their mother, who worked tirelessly to provide for them. Their father had passed away years ago, leaving a void that was never filled. Despite their circumstances, John was determined to protect his family and make something of himself. From a young age, John knew he was different. While other children played with wooden swords and dreamed of becoming knights, John felt a strange pull towards something more, something beyond the physical. He couldn't explain it, but he sensed a power deep within him, waiting to be awakened. When John was 10 years old, he discovered his gift. One day, while tending to the small garden behind their shack, he accidentally set a small flame ablaze with just a flick of his hand. Startled and frightened, he quickly doused the fire, but the incident marked the beginning of his journey. Magic was rare in the world, known only to a few who were either revered or feared. John's family couldn't afford formal training, but he spent every spare moment trying to harness his abilities, practicing in secret. Years passed, and when John turned 16, he received an unexpected letter. It was an invitation to the Arcane Academy, a prestigious institution in the distant city where those with magical potential were trained. The letter was like a beacon of hope, a chance for John to change his family's fate. With his mother's blessing and a tearful goodbye, John set off for the city, determined to prove himself. The city was overwhelming, tall buildings, bustling streets, and people everywhere. The Arcane Academy was even more imposing, with its towering spires and ancient mystical aura. But John was not easily intimidated. He knew he belonged here, even if no one else believed it yet. From the moment he arrived, John felt out of place. Most of the other students came from wealthy, influential families, and they made no effort to hide their disdain for someone like him, a poor boy from a forgotten village. They mocked his clothes, his accent, and his lack of formal training. But what they didn't know was that John's hardships had forged a resilience within him that was unbreakable. The bullying was relentless. Students sabotaged his spells, stole his books, and spread rumors to undermine him. But John didn't falter. Every night, he stayed up late, practicing in the shadows, pushing himself beyond his limits. He was determined to master the art of magic, to prove that his worth was not defined by his background. One day, during a particularly difficult training session, the Academy's headmaster, a wise and powerful mage named Master Eldred, took notice of John. He had been observing the young boy's progress from afar and saw something in John that the others overlooked, a raw, untapped potential that could surpass them all. Under Master Eldrick's guidance, John's abilities grew exponentially. He learned to control fire, summon storms, and bend light to his will. His magical aptitude was unmatched, and soon, even the most arrogant students had no choice but to acknowledge his power. But John never sought their approval. He was focused on one goal, to become the strongest mage in the world, to protect those he loved, and to ensure that no one could ever look down on him again. At the age of 20, John stood at the pinnacle of the magical world. He had surpassed all expectations, defeated the Academy's greatest champions, and earned the title of Archmage, a rank that only the most powerful could attain. The very students who once mocked him now revered him, and even the city's rulers sought his counsel. But John remained humble, never forgetting where he came from. He returned to his village, using his newfound wealth and influence to rebuild it, ensuring that his family and others like them would never have to struggle again. He became a symbol of hope, not just for his village, but for anyone who had ever been told they couldn't achieve their dreams. John's journey was far from over, but he had already proven one thing. True strength comes not from power or wealth, but from the will to overcome adversity and the courage to forge your own path.